Hey everyone, Phil here from Wargamer Online, and today we have a five minute quick tip on pinning the impossible. Okay, what do I mean by pinning the impossible? Well, here I have a Gene Stealer Primus model, and um, for those of you familiar with the model, um, he's lost his wonderful little needle off the end of his gun. So if you look at that, there's a little needle at the top of the needle pistol. It's the first time I put him anywhere near some foam, the needle disappeared. What I've done, just so you know, it snapped off, but in preparation for this, I've actually trimmed the very point level. Now, the traditional method would be, of course, to get a pin vise drill our way in there and then fix in a little bit of brass rod or pin or something like that just to replace it. The problem is with drilling anything that size is, you know, two things. If you use a Dremel, the speed of the drill will melt the plastic. If you drill it by hand, your main issue is you're sort of bracing it and getting the drill in there. Either way, you've got to exert pressure. Uh, and again, on delicate parts, I'm really concerned about this little piece down here because that's also thin. I'm a bit concerned as I put pressure on, I'm gonna break the wrist, I'm gonna break that piece, I'm gonna snap that off. So there's a much easier way that requires much less resistance. Still using a pin vise, I've got a pin in there, this is actually a needle. I've got my spare pins here, and a lighter. Yes, today we are going to be playing with fire. Let's go through the basic principle of what it's going to be. This is simple, what I'm going to do is heat the needle up, and stick it into the plastic and create a hole. Got a spare bit of plastic here, just to demonstrate what happened. I've got my needle in my pin vise. The main thing you need to understand is it doesn't take a lot to heat these things up, not enough to melt plastic. So what I'm gonna do is just wave the flame over it a little bit. And I'm not looking for this thing to glow. That's not necessary. It's just warming up a little bit. Now I'll take that, plunge it into there, and as you can see, no resistance at all straight through. The difference between drilling the material out and melting the material, you can see on that side now how neat that hole is. There's no resistance and no trouble, that's absolutely fantastic, but what's happened on this side? Essentially, just like when you drill a hole out, the excess material's got to come out somewhere. So it actually comes out that top surface there, and as you can see it's created a little bubble. Now, simplest thing to do is, once it's cooled, literally flick that off, there you go. Now, obviously, when it comes to doing this fellow, I'm gonna be a little bit more careful about that. But as you can see, now I've got a lovely hole, very fine, almost no work involved whatsoever, and I'll be able to push in a pin and secure it. One thing worth mentioning, you do get a bit of residue um, on the needle um, from, from when you plunged it through, basically. So what I'm gonna do is burn that off, and the important thing to do is make sure you do it in a well-ventilated area. I've got the window open just behind me. Um, so I'm just going to burn that off and you'll see a little bit of... Woo! -woo there it goes. I made fire. Right, I am going to concentrate on this bit because it's my only Primus model and I want to make sure I get alignment well. So let's get it up to temperature. Not it too hot, not it too cold. It's not the end of the world if it's too cold, by the way. What I'm doing is just creating a start point. So I'm using just the tip to create me a center point. You can see I've got my hole down the center. I do have this little bit of heat that's built up. And again, what I'm gonna do is just push that hole a little bit deeper, right down the center. As you can see, it's deformed it a little bit, but I can use my knife to trim that down. And that's probably, to be honest, that was just because I'm trying to do it at arm length so you can actually see it on camera. If I was working much closer, it would have been much quicker. I kind of could have just stabbed it straight in like that. But I don't actually have a plastic part to replace this with. So what I'm going to do is actually just trim a needle down. I could use a bit of brass rod, but I'm completely out of brass rod at the moment. So what we're gonna trim the end off. Tidy it up a little bit. Make sure it actually fits in the hole. Yep, it's gonna need a little bit of warming up, but that's not the end of the world. I'm having to guess the length here, so I'll go for about there. Worst comes to the worst, I can always trim a bit extra off. As I said, the hole's a little bit tight and I don't want to push down too heavy, so there's a solution for that. Get the heat back on this again. Let's give it plenty of heat. This one seems a little bit more resistant to heat this needle. And there we have it. One repaired needle gun. From having no solution to a solution, I'm pretty happy with that. And by the time you've done a little blob of glue on there, tidied the edge up a little bit, and um, 
got some paint on that you would never know you would never know and the good news is catch that in your phone and it's going nowhere okay hope that was useful to you um it's really good for pinning very very fine parts um again caution and practice make sure you practice on um things like the bits of sprue and stuff like that because it really does give you that as you can see that really did create a super fine hole it was a little bit trickier on that one and like I say, more, more to do with the fact I was having to work at arm's length. But you certainly get the principle. You don't have to go crazy with um, your pin vise and drilling away and making life difficult on yourself. It can be just a lot easier uh, just using a little bit, a bit, a little bit of heat and pushing through the plastic. And when you get that pin up to the right temperature, there is almost no resistance. So that's what's great about it. You're not putting the model under any strain. Right, hope you found that useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to check out wargameronline.com, um, check our website out because we've got loads of premium content on there as well. Bye.